Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday and just like we do every Tuesday here in Video Creators, it's time to take a look at some of the online video news from last week and talk about the implications it has for us as creators who are growing our channels and building our audiences here on YouTube. And today I want to tell you guys the best time of day to publish a new video to YouTube, the best day of the week to do that, and also when you will get the most money and the highest CPMs from your videos as well. I'm going to share all that with you guys. It's coming up. But first, two other quick things. The first thing is that YouTube is doing a live streaming event during during the Super Bowl, they're doing their very own halftime show with 20 top creators, including Harley Morenstein from Epic Mealtime, Freddie Wong, Toby Turner, and many others. So just go to youtube.com slash adblitz to tune in to YouTube's halftime show during halftime of the big game if you're here in the US. I'll put a link in the description text below this video if you want to go check it out. Also, Twitter is rolling out their new video streaming service sometime soon, and it's going to look a little bit differently than it does here on YouTube or even on Facebook. Although videos in Twitter's feed will autoplay just like videos do in Facebook feed. They will only autoplay for up to six seconds. Now the user can pick any six seconds of the entire video clip to be the autoplay ones. It doesn't have to be just the first six seconds. And it will also autoplay with no sound until the user actually clicks or taps to watch the video. If you're brand advertising on Twitter, you will get to upload videos up to 10 minutes long. But if you're just an average user like you or me, you will get to upload videos up to 30 seconds long. I would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comments below. You know, this past year we have seen you know, a lot of different video platforms coming out to kind of compete with YouTube or at least offer something that's supplemental to it. You know, like Facebook is doing their video thing, Twitter's gonna be doing their video thing, and having video on all these different platforms, how's that going to affect your video strategy, especially in how you promote your content and your material? I'm really looking forward to reading your thoughts down there, so share it with the rest of the video creators community what you think about all this. Now, let me share with you guys best times of day, best days of the week, and best time to get money on YouTube and all that, but first of all, I wanna thank our sponsor here at Video Creators this month, they are famebit.com, which is a website where you can go to land brand deals to make more money with your YouTube channel. If you have a thousand subscribers or more, you can simply create an account, log in, browse through an entire marketplace of brands you're looking for creators like you to help promote their products and services. Famebit holds the advertisers' money in escrow so that you get paid only like a day or two after your video goes live. You can also find other creators there who want to do collaborations, so go check it out. There's a link in the description text below this video. If you can go straight there, check it out, sign up if you'd like, and start landing brand deals and increase your audience by tapping into the community of creators they have over there at Famebit. So Matt Gillen over at Channel Frederator Network recently did some research across their 120 million monthly views and their 1,300 channels about what are the best days, best times of the week, and everything to publish your videos. I'm going to summarize all of his data here for you guys, but first of all, you should know that the content he's evaluating is all mostly all animated content. Their audience is 65% male and skews very young, around you know 13 the 34 year olds and 40% of their audience is from the US so that's kind of the baseline for what these numbers are going to be based on. So as you can see here the best hours to post during the day are between 2 and 4 p.m. Eastern Time Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and then on Thursday and Friday between 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time and then on the weekend Saturday and Sunday between 9 and 11 a.m. And he said the reason for that is just as viewership on television peaks somewhere around you know prime time around dinner time maybe a little bit thereafter. He said that same trend is true for YouTube. So you want to post your videos sometime in the early to late afternoon so that by the time people sit down to their YouTube subscriptions around dinner time or the evening, your video has been published as they're kind of close to the top of their subscription feed. As for the best days of the week to post, towards the end of the week definitely seems to perform a little bit better. Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays are all kind of low. Going up on Thursdays and Fridays, kind of peaking on Saturday and then coming down a little bit on Sunday. And the thought possibly behind this trend is that in the beginning of the week, people are very busy. They're kind of getting back into their rhythm, back into their routines, and then towards the end of the week, they kind of have more time to relax. You know, they've finished up some projects and now they can chill a little bit more in front of the computer. If you'd like to know which days of the week to post for the best advertising dollars and the highest CPMs, this calendar gives you an idea of that. Blue are high viewership days, yellow are high CPM days, green is high viewership and CPM days, and red are days that are significantly bad in comparison to nearby days of viewership and other CPM. So you kind of want to hit the green days if possible because that's when you'll strike the best balance between high CPMs and high viewership. This graph right here shows US viewership over the course of the year. It tends to be highest in winter months around October through February, kind of decreases in March, bottoms out in May, then picks up again in June. And the logical reasoning behind this is that in the winter, people are indoors more, they're sitting in front of their computers more during the summer, people are getting out, they're having fun, they're playing outside and going on vacation, traveling, doing a lot of other things. So Matt compiled all this data together to give you an annual calendar of the best days to post your video content 
on this calendar, green is a very good day to release a new video. Yellow is a good day to release a video. Gray and white is just kind of a moderate day to release, and red is try to avoid releasing videos on those days. I know I went through a lot of this pretty quickly, so there's a link in the description below this video if you want to go read the whole post and dig into it some more. But remember, like these statistics are based on analytics from their network channels. If your channel has a different demographic of users, of people, of age groups, of gender, of you know content, a lot of different variables go into this. So your mileage may vary with this. If you've been making videos for several years now, what I would do is just go straight to your YouTube analytics and just do the, like the high picture overview level. Make sure you change the date range to all time and you will see how different trends and things might be happening around certain times of the year on your channel. So I hope that was helpful for you. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday we take a look at the online video news and talk about it just kind of like we did here, keeping you guys up to date with the changes that are happening in the platform and how you can continue to grow your channel and your audiences based on all the new things that are happening here every week. Tomorrow on Wednesdays to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, advice, things like that. And then on Thursday do some YouTube Q&A where I take a question that one of you asks about your channel and the audiences that you're developing and I do my best to answer it right here for you and I do all this guys because I really do believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread that the world needs to hear and I want to do everything I can to help you grow your YouTube channels and your audiences so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can simply find you connect with your channel and your content and hear what you have to say so thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys do that subscribe and I'll see you guys again tomorrow bye